also performed the duties of Chief Naval Overseer at Shanghai, China, Deputy Chief of Naval Staff Training and Evaluation, and Director General Naval Intelligence. He has been Commandant of PNS Bahadur, the largest training establishment in PN War College, Lahore. His command appointments at sea include command of two Type 21 ships, PNS Badr and PNS Tariq, 18 destroyer squadron and commander Pakistan fleet. He has also served as commander Karachi. His salient professional qualifications include long torpedo and anti-submarine course from Pakistan and international surface warfare officer course from USA. He is a graduate of Army Command and Staff College, Quetta, and National Defense University, Islamabad. Admiral Mohammad Amjad Khan Niazi, Nishan Imtiaz Military, Sitara Bisalat, holds Master's Degree in Underwater Acoustics from Beijing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, China, and War Studies from Qaidazm University, Islamabad. Admiral Mohammad Amjad Khan Niazi, Nishan Imtiaz Military, Sitara Bisalat has also been conferred with the French Medal Chevalier by the Government of France, the Legion of Merit of the Turkish Armed Forces by the Government of Turkey, and Emirates Military Medal First Class by Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, UAE. He is happily married and blessed with a son and two daughters. معزز حاضرین امیر البہر ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف نے انیس سو نواسی میں پاک بحریہ کی آپریشنز برانچ میں کمیشن حاصل کیا جرمنی اور پاکستان میں ابتدائی بحری تربیت کی کامیاب تکمیل پر انہیں قائد اعظم گولڈ میڈل سے نوازا گیا اپنے شاندار نیول کیریئر کے دوران انہوں نے متعدد کمانڈ اور سٹاف تقرریوں پر خدمات انجام دی ان کے دس سالہ کمانڈ تجربے میں گن بوٹ کی کمانڈ ایک مائن ہنٹر تین ڈسٹرائرز اور ٹو فائف اور ون ایڈ ڈسٹرائرز کارڈرنز کی کمانڈز شامل ہیں ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف کو پاکستان نیول اکیڈمی اور پاکستان نیوی فلیٹ کی کمانڈ کرنے کا عزاز بھی حاصل ہے ان کی اہم صاف تقرریوں میں فلیٹ ہیڈ کارٹرز میں فلیٹ آپریشنز آفیسر ہیڈ کارٹر فلیگ آفیسر سی ٹریننگ میں کیپٹن ٹریننگ ہیڈ کارٹرز نیو سینٹ بہرین میں وائس پریزیڈنٹ نیشنل ڈیفنس یونیورسٹی نیول سیکٹری ڈیپٹی چیف آف نیول سٹاف ایڈمن ڈیریکٹر جنرل سی فور آئی ڈیپٹی چیف آف نیول سٹاف ٹریننگ این پرسنیل ڈیپٹی چیف آف نیول سٹاف آپریشنز اور نیول ہیڈ کارٹرز میں چیف آف سٹاف کی اہم تاییوناتیاں شامل ہیں ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف پاکستان نیوی وار کالج لاہور نیشنل ڈیفنس ی اور رائل کالیج آف ڈیفنس سٹیڈیز برطانیہ سے فارغ التحصیل ہے دوران سرویس شاندار خدمات کے اعتراف میں ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف کو حلال امتیاز ملٹری اور تمغہ بسالت سے نوازا جا چکا ہے معزز حاضرین ایڈمیرل محمد امجد خان نیازی نشان امتیاز ملٹری ستار بسالت کی آمد کا وقت ہوا چاہتا ہے Ladies and gentlemen, Admiral Mohammed Amjad Khan Niazi, Nishan Imtiaz Military, Sitara Bisalat has arrived. May I request you to please rise in his honor.
الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله يأمركم أن تؤدوا كان سميعا 
بصيرا يا أيها الذين آمنوا أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم فإن تنازعتم في شيء فردوه إلى الله والرسول إن كنتم كنتم تؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر ذلك خير وأحسن تأويلا صدق الله العظيم بناه مانتا هو من الله كي شيطان مردود سي شروع کرتا ہوں اللہ کے نام سے جو بڑا مہربان نہائیت رحم کرنے والا ہے یقیناً اللہ تمہیں حکم دیتا ہے کہ تم امانتیں ان کے حقداروں تک پہنچاؤ اور جب لوگوں کے درمیان فیصلہ کرو تو انصاف کے ساتھ فیصلہ کرو یقین جانو اللہ تم کو جس بات کی نصیحت کرتا ہے وہ بہت اچھی ہوتی ہے بے شک اللہ ہر بات کو سنتا اور ہر چیز کو دیکھتا ہے اے ایمان والو اللہ کی اطاعت کرو اور اس کے رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کی بھی اطاعت کرو اور تم میں سے جو لوگ صاحب اختیار ہوں ان کی بھی پھر اگر تمہارے درمیان کسی چیز میں اختلاف ہو جائے تو اگر واقعی تم اللہ اور یوم آخرت پر ایمان رکھتے ہو تو اسے اللہ اور رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کے حوالے کر دو یہی طریقہ بہترین اور اس کا انجام بھی سب سے بہتر ہے اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وما علينا إلا البلاغ. May I now request Chief of the Naval Staff, Admiral Mohammad Amjad Khan Niazi, Nishani Imtiaz Military, Sitare Bissalat, to kindly address the parade. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أدمل نبيد أشرف Chief of the Naval Staff Azik Former Chiefs of the Naval Staff Flag Officers Officers Chief Petty Officers Sailors Navy Civilians Ladies and Gentlemen السلام عليكم to begin with, I profoundly thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his countless blessings that enabled me to command Pakistan Navy with dignity and honor. I stand here today with a deep sense of humility and pride. Humility for being in the wake of my worthy predecessors who stood here before me and pride because by the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I was able to discharge my duties to the best of my abilities and in the best interest of service. I am about to pass on the reins of this great service to my worthy successor. Here, I would congratulate Elban David Ashraf, 
for having been appointed to this prestigious yet onerous responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, during the last three years, we witnessed the world transform due to COVID-19 pandemic. Navies across the world faced unprecedented challenges in maintaining optimum operational readiness. The, pandem the pandemic also impacted the world economy due to large-scale shutdowns, and Pakistan was no exception. We also endured deteriorated internal security situation, post-US withdrawal from Afghanistan, and the devastating floods of 2022 that struck, struck us at a critical juncture, causing loss of precious lives and accentuating strains on an already fragile economy. I say this with full satisfaction that by the grace of Allah, untiring support of my principal staff officers at Naval Headquarters and Field Commands who were able to steer Pakistan Navy through these turbulent times. Today, the Navy stands as a strong and vital arm of country's armed forces capable of protecting our maritime frontiers and radiating deterrence. Pakistan Navy has also emerged as an effective contributor towards socio-economic uplift of the country, bringing a paradigm shift in the image of Pakistan Navy at the national and international levels. Today, the backbone of our service is formed by state-of-the-art surface ships, a dependable subsurface force, superior naval aviation, and agile marines. Me and my team strive for this transformation, which was made possible by our shift from threat-based to capability-based planning, from a mere defender to a warfighter mindset, and from a reactive crisis handler to a proactive problem-solver approach. This has been incorporated into our training from basic to advanced professional courses as well. I am fully confident that this will continue to get strengthened with time. <clears throat> our successes as a service would greatly depend on our willingness to embrace innovation, adapt to changing times, and be prepared to leverage technology to fight wars that may be beyond our current imagination. I emphasized on introduction of AI and mechatronics in the Navy. We must keep in mind that capabilities of artificial intelligence, robotics, and unmanned systems would be the cornerstones of success or failure in the next conflict. We cannot afford to ignore these domains, not even slightly. In this age of fifth-generation warfare, our people are under a multitude of social, economic, and ideological stresses, which are ubiquitous in nature. This needs us to continue to stay engaged with our crew so that all adversarial attempts may be fought back strongly. It was my personal goal to make sure our people understood the importance of information security and perils of the misguided social media. This is something that must continue to be an area of real concern. Ladies and gentlemen, as India transitions into Bharat, we will see pronounced fundamentalism, extremism, and bigotry in our neighborhood. This implies a significant warmongering and expansion-centered agenda that will complicate security challenges for us in the future. Cold start proactive operations, operations and dynamic, dynamic response strategy represent various forms of aggression rather than defensive constructs. We must be prepared to respond to these challenges with professionalism, preparedness, and unwavering self-esteem. Apart from the traditional nemesis, we face myriad non-traditional and unconventional threats. Although the number and, and intensity of these threats might change, they will continue to perpetuate our security priorities. Terror groups, non-state actors, 
and subnational dissidents will remain a source of hybrid war stretching our war fighting resources situation awareness and training at all levels will be the principal determinant of our dominance over these forces of tyranny across the spectrum of conflict ladies and gentlemen pakistan believes in collaboration when it comes to maritime security being the first regional country to join cmf's initiatives pakistan was again the first country to voice for and demonstrate the region led region owned maritime construct of regional maritime security patrols aman series of exercises are one of the biggest international platforms for many nations around the world to muster together and share views on issues surrounding security and threats our navy is the major practical component of pakistan's foreign policy our ships carry the impression of first responders whenever a humanitarian crisis strikes humanity tsunami relief sri lankan floods pakistan's super floods the african food crisis and turkey earthquakes are some of the occasions where our naval ships played instrumental role in hdr in the recent pakistan floods our brave men and women rendered their exemplary services and rescued thousands of flood victims and provided medical relief and shelter cognizant of the enormous potential of blue economy pakistan navy in collaboration with ministry of maritime affairs spearheaded first ever pakistan international maritime expo and conference earlier this year i hope and believe that admiral nawid ashraf will continue focusing on this domain contribution to nation building has always been on the agenda of naval chiefs and our service has done enormous work to provide quality education improved health care and other services to our coastal communities ladies and gentlemen over the course of my 3 years as chief of the navy i have observed that leadership can be distilled into two core skill sets being a pathfinder and a problem solver we live in an age of change where combating uncertainty is the key leadership function being a pathfinder will instill an unshakable belief in your ideas plans and motives among your crew now more than ever a clear headed bold and decisive approach is needed problem solving is the second most crucial set that our officers and must that our officers and must, men must possess in military service do not think of any problem free day it won't happen this necessitates leaders in these earth uncertain times to have or develop the quintessential capability to solve problems our leaders must avoid getting entrapped by risk aversion where it comes to those two skill sets the work of arms is all about risk an innovative progressive and forward looking disposition is far more essential for our navy than a life anchored in careerism material pursuits and outward success so my dear shipmates beware of this ladies and gentlemen where we stand today would have been possible without the blessings of allah subhanahu wa taala and unflinching support extended by the finest body of men and women which i had the honor to command as i hand over the command of navy to admiral nawid ashraf i wish him the best of luck and a rewarding tenure in office the admiral has a distinguished career a studied with notable and i am sure he would prove to be an able and worthy successor who will lead the navy to newer heights inshallah in the end i would like to thank the government for having reposed their trust in me and providing pakistan navy much needed resources despite economic crunch to meet pressing operational service needs i also thank ministry of defense joint staff headquarters and sister services for rendering all out support to pakistan navy in execution of its sacred responsibilities of maritime defense i find myself short of words to express my gratitude to allah subhanahu wa taala for his countless blessings throughout my life and in particular during my tenure at the helm of pakistan navy 
As I say farewell to arms, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable Pakistan Navy to continue to gain strength and achieve zenith of excellence. Ameen. May Allah be, with, be our guardian. Pakistan Navy Zindabad. Pakistan Paindabad. The Naval Secretary, Rear Admiral Faisal Amin, Hilal Imtiaz Military, will read the Gazette notification. Bismillah rahman rahim Ladies and gentlemen, I now read the notification regarding appointment of Chief of the Naval Staff issued by Ministry of Defense. I quote, the President of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan has been pleased to appoint Vice Admiral Naveed Ashraf Hilal Imtiaz Military Tamgai Basalat, personal number 3563 as Chief of the Naval Staff with effect from 7th October 2023 and grant him the rank of Admiral from the date he assumes the charge, unquote. Now, Admiral Mohammed Amjad Khan Niazi, Nishan Imtiaz Military, Sitara Basalat will hand over the command of Pakistan Navy to Admiral Naveed Ashraf, Hilal Imtiaz Military, Tamgai Basalat. Ladies and gentlemen, the guard shall present arms to Chief of the Naval Staff. May I request you all to please rise for the occasion. Now the great commander will give Qomi Nara to Admiral Muhammad Amjad Khan Niazi, Nishan Imtiaz Military, Sitara Bisalat.
ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف نے پاکستان نیوی کے تئیسویں سربراہ کی حیثیت سے کمان سنبھال لی ہے سبک دوش ہونے والے نیول چیف ایڈمیرل محمد امجد خان نے آسی نے پاکستان نیوی کے نئے سربراہ ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف کو کمان سوپی یہ پر وقار تقریب پی این ایز زفر اسلام آباد میں ہوئی اس پر وقار تقریب میں سبک دوش ہونے والے نیول چیف ایڈمیرل محمد امجد خان نے آسی کو گارڈ آف آنر پیش کیا گیا اس موقع پر تقریب کے شرکہ سے الودائی خطاب کرتے ہوئے ایڈمیرل محمد امجد خان نیازی نے نئے نیول چیف ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف کے لیے نئے خواہشات کا اظہار کیا اپنے تمام ناظرین کو بتا دے چلیں پاکستان نیوی کے نئے نیول چیف ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف نے پاکستان نیوی کے تئیسویں سربراہ کی حیثیت سے کمان سنبھال لی پاک بحریا میں تبدیلی کی پروکار تقریب جاری ہے ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف پاک بحریا کے انتیس پہ سربراہ ہوں گے نیول چیف ایڈمیرل محمد امجد خان نیازی نے پاک بحریا کی کمان ایڈمیرل نوید اشرف کو سوپ دی ہے آپ کو بتا رہے ہیں نیول چیف ایڈمیرل محمد امجد خان نیازی نے اس موقع پر الودائی خطاب بھی کیا اور انہیں گارڈ آف آنر پیش کیا گیا